I was saying earlier, um, remember we, we talked about this last week. I, I said, you know, you have the you. The, the, this is you over here. You now. And then this is your future. I'm not going to draw anything here yet. So this is you now, wherever you're at. Every thought that you're thinking, and Galahad, I don't, I'm not sure if you understand that you actually have created everything that's going on in your trading yourself. In the years that I've known you, I've seen it play out. Like I could have predicted it. But anyways, when you think certain things, they create your future. Actually, I did it on a very small level today. I got up in the morning, was in a good mood. It's going to snow. I got my Christmas stuff. It's like, you know, I'm off today. I got a million things I'm going to get done. Thanksgiving's in a week. In a good mood. Things are going good. And guess what? Huge call today. It was perfect. So in, a, in, a, in my small little world, I created a, a, a really good morning for myself. And I'll continue to create a wonderful day for myself. Into the current right now today future of things that I want. To manifest for myself on a, on a on a small level but you can do this every day for yourself little by little by little by little if it's too much for you to think into the future about something one month down the road or a year down the road then go day by day but absolutely every thought that you think is creating your future and for many people they create a negative future and you've done that with your trading galahad i'm trying to turn it around for you but i can't i can't control your mind only you can control your mind but the way that you talk, I can see you're, you're not, you're, you're, you're still negative, negative, negative. But if you're a person that is here now and this is you, and then you look into the future, really the future is wide open, whether it's two hours from now or two days from now or two weeks from now or two years from now, like this is a blank slate. This is a blank slate that you can create anything you want for the future. So nothing's set in stone out there. You can create this blank slate. So you can make it something that you want or make it something that you don't want. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're saying you're going to win, that's good, Galahad. But you also have to believe it. You also have to believe it. And maybe you do believe it, but you're not creating it because you're negative all the time. Well, you weren't positive this morning. You made money in that trade and then complained about it. So I don't know what's going to happen for your day now. Does everybody understand what I'm saying here? So the future is wide open for everyone, all of us. The short-term future, the long-term future you can you can paint anything that you want to be here so if you know that's the case that nothing's set in stone for the future guess what geez that's pretty exciting that is really exciting because anything that you want to create you could i mean that is really fun if everything was set in stone that 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 this was going to be your life and this and that and blah 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 and things were going to be the same if you're not happy with your trading right now or not happy with your income or not happy with your finances or not happy with your life or relationships whatever if you if you looked in the future and saw the same thing now and this isn't what you want right now gosh that would be depressing but guess what many people do that that's what they do all they do is look into the future and see the same life that they have now which they're not happy with they can't even conceive of, of a better life, which we did talk about this last week. But when you think about it, in a normal sense, nothing's set in stone. Nothing. So you can create on this blank slate of your future what you desire. It's up to you. Or you can create something that you don't really want, but it's what you constantly focus on, which could be pain and suffering and losses and not enough money not enough not enough not enough not enough too many bills life
life's so hard over here. If you keep thinking like that, then that is what it's going to be in the future. This, this is going to look the same. Come a, 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 an hour from now, come a day from now, come a week from now. Can't he get set? Um, no, you prove that you can win Galahad. But but then it's like you 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 really only when it's a big trade. So your belief system is you you believe truly that you can have huge wins. Every once in a while you do, but not every trade. So your belief system is that it is possible to have a big trade. And you believe that, and when it comes to you, you get it. So you, you fully believe that. And there are times when you create that. And you also believe that, that you can do that with the options. So your belief system is that you can make more money doing options. You can have huge trades doing options. And that's what you want to focus on. That is your belief system for the last few years. Now, while that may be true for some of the trades, it's not true for every options trade. And meanwhile, you've totally, totally not focused on your day trading at all. So because that's your belief system, you focus on that. But then let everything else go to pot. Not every day trade is big. Not every day trade is, not every uh, option trade is big. You absolutely believe that some options trades that are big that you can make a lot of money on and you want to do them and that's great. But you can't ignore the rest of the trades that are just normal trades and you can't ignore day trading if you're going to do it. So you've created your own belief system. So every once in a while you have a big winner. But in the end, if you want to be consistent, you have to have winners after winners after winners after winners after winners. And although you might have a few losers in between, it, you got to have more winners and losers, whether they're small or big. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying here, um, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about this last night. So it's not just it's not just what you it's what you believe. But you also have to focus on it. You have to really focus on it. Because if you don't focus on it, and this is what happens, we all get caught up in our lives. And in the last year I'm running around, I'm on TV, I'm here doing a class, I'm in the room, I'm I'm sleeping. I mean, and all of a sudden you're like, "Oh my gosh, it's 2019. This is crazy town." And if you do, if you have things that you want to get done, goals or things that you want to create in your future that to benefit your own life again whether they're small or big or medium it's like you you have to create them you have to start thinking about them or how you're going to get them done because otherwise this 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 is blank this doesn't have to be positive or negative it could be nothing and so that's what i'm saying you could never achieve this could just be a blank thing like you could think about trading and do nothing about it for a year from now and then this is blank so, I mean, I've, I've been relating this to myself because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 2018 and I'm single. And I was thinking of this the other day, I'm like, I gotta start thinking about manifesting a man in my life <laughs> because I do not wanna be alone forever. I do wanna get married, I wanna have kids. And I never think about my age, but I'm like, oh my God, it's 2019 and I thought I'd be married at least by 2020 and if I don't start dating, then I'm definitely not gonna get married. And I'm like, I have to start manifesting, meeting some incredible man in my life. And although that sounds silly, I'm sure to some of you, but you can relate this to your trading. Because if your trading isn't what you want it to be, or if you're not where you want to be financially with your life and you want to start trading, you, you got to start making it happen. So for me, I need to either make time to go out and meet people and date in between my busy life. Yes, that's true. But I also have to start believing that I actually am going to meet someone that I want to marry. So I have to like start thinking and imagining what that man looks like. And what he, I have to start thinking about this man that I don't even know. And I, I have to start manifesting this man to come into my life somehow. Because if I don't, it's going to be 2020. And I'm, I'm, I'm still going to be running around busy doing all kinds of stuff. And on TV and everything else. And who knows what else great things. And then I'm going to be like, oh my God, I am not married yet. I'm not dating anyone. This is crazy. And that is how life gets. But, you know, you have to create something here that you want. But you also got to be aware that you have to start putting it in your head. Because if you don't start getting it going in your mind first, well, then it's, it's just not going to miraculously happen. Like you are the one that creates it to happen. You are the one that draws it into your life. So you can pull in positive events and occurrences and people into your life, or you can pull in negative events, occurrences, or people into your life. You truly, truly can. I'm, trust me, I'm telling you. So, you know, 
for, I thought about this because I thought about this myself because I'm like, wow, the future is like an unknown for me from my romantic life because I haven't been thinking about it at all. And I want something to be there in the future. I don't want it to be a void. How do you train yourself to get faster? Okay, Kathy's talking about the setups. Let's look at that. How do we do that manifesting a guy in your life? Sounds like a plan. Well, I have to start I have to start thinking about what I want him to be like. That's step one. Here, I'll pull up the chart. I would like to meet a man that's tall. Between six foot two and six foot four. Tall, dark hair, handsome, lives in New York City. Has a good job. Um, Kathy wants to do what is totally supportive of me and my, my dreams to, for, for television, someone that's supportive, someone that wants to get married, someone that wants commitment, someone that's hard in New York. <laughs> Actually, that's a negative thought. <laughs> I just said something negative. <laughs> Cancel. <sighs> um, Kathy, what are you, what are you, what, if I call a trait, and I say to take it, you have two options here. You can do it with a hockey, which is what I usually do. Or if you don't want to do it with a hockey, you do it with your mouse. But hockeys are faster. So you probably never use a hockey in your life. But if you had used a hockey, you probably would have gotten this. Because all you have to do is go, do, and you press it with a hockey. Otherwise, if you're putting an order out ahead and you have to set it all up and go to the mouse and click and click and click, then you're probably going to take longer. So sometimes you have time for that, sometimes you don't. If you don't have hotkeys set up on your platform, you get them set up. The place that you're at I know has them, so you should be able to do that, and you will definitely, definitely get faster fill. So it's not a matter of reaction time for you. It's a matter of how you put the orders. Now, if I call and I say, take it at 702, which you did have time in here, you could have put the order out, and it would have filled you, but you still would have had to hit out of it yourself manually when I said take it out, or if you held it through, you would have had to manually hit it out here. And again, I hit out with the hotkeys, unless I get stopped. Hotkeys, that's your platform has hotkeys, and you have to call in and set them up with your platform place wherever you're trading. Just call and say, I want to set up hotkeys on my platform. It's on the numbered keypad on your computer if you have a computer on the right hand side. And if you're on a laptop, I mean, you can put them anywhere. You can use like the F1. You can use the ones at the top. I have them set up the way I have them set up on the right-hand side. You could you could set up the F keys at the top as hotkeys too. You can set up any keys you want on your computer as a hotkey, but but your platform place has to make it so. So you make sure you put it in right as a short or a a buy or a buy to cover. Jackie's out. She's up 800 for the week. You have to work tomorrow. See me Monday. Okay, good job, Jackie. Yeah, just call them up and say, I want to set up hotkeys. Can you help me walk me through it? I don't know that place if they will do it over the phone with you or send you a video on how to do it or a manual or something, but hopefully they'll help you over the phone, Jackie. You definitely need hotkeys, Kathy. So that's something. And Jackie, I guess, isn't using hotkeys either. And she's a room member, but she's going to set them up. But she got, she, she, Jackie's pretty quick. Jackie did it. Jackie got the trade here. Now Jackie chose to hold it, which is fine. Um, I lost track of what I was going to say. How do you manifest things? You start thinking about it in your mind. That's the first place. Your mind is so powerful. You have no idea, no idea how powerful your mind is. You, you, you're, you're, you're not going to make end tap drop. Don't, this is not, you know, seriously, you're, you're, you don't, you didn't, you didn't make end tap drop today. You didn't make it drop. You can't do that. Obviously there's everything else in the world is hot making end tap drop, but you can, you can control what's going on in your own world. So you can choose to do a gap like NTAP or another thing too. But if in your mind you're like, we're going to get a really good one today. I think it's going to be a good day today. Just all around, you say to yourself, and you just feel good. There's a spring in your step. 
And if you don't know what I mean by a spring in your step, or you haven't had a spring in your step in a year or longer or forever, then you got to get, you know, you got to get a spring in your step. And you're probably not dreaming about some good things happening in your life. And, um, you know, you got to start to do that. This isn't about the fact that sometimes things happen that we don't anticipate or things could happen that are negative, but it's how you deal with them. But you still want to put it out there that you're going to have this prosperous, positive future, whether it's the future in your day, future in your week, or future in the next year. But if you don't start to think what you want and imagine it, I mean, actually imagine it and see yourself living that, living that life, then how are you ever going to create it? JD says, everything is possible to the one that believes. There you go. I'm copy and pasting this from JD. I'm such a great example of this for those of you that have known me, though, for the last, you know, three, three years plus, because I wanted to be on TV. And all of you that were here when I said I wanted to be on it, I talked about it, and I wanted to be on it. It was my dream, and then all of a sudden, I'm on it. I'm such a great example. I'm such a great example and, 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 and a real life example of someone that is living what they preach for real. And, and that should, if nothing else, motivate those of you that are here to do the same in your own life. I mean, who would have thought that I'd be on Fox? In 2015, I, I you know, I started the this project and then it all fell apart in the summer and then I tried to pick it up again and then it fell apart again and I had no direction at all and and now here I am it's just you know you really have to just envision it and even though difficulties may arise you have to still envision it like Kathy I'm gonna I'm gonna use you as an example you're saying I don't know if I can do this oh here this is still going I don't know if I can press the button fast enough to get it yes you can Yes, you can. You darn well can. And you better start thinking that you can. Because if you don't think that you can, you won't. Here, this is going. Crap. Is anyone still in this? Galahad, did you kill it? Or are you still in it? This is definitely going to go to 67. Um, but you got to believe that you can. And stop thinking that you can't. Start thinking that you can. That's it. It's not even a question. You're, it's the, the very thought of you thinking that you can't is insane, actually. I mean, that's what I used to tell people. Oh, yeah, you're really going to really be on TV. You're really going to be on this, blah, blah, blah. No one knows who you are. You're really going to blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Delete, check. You know, those people have left my life. So you have to believe it. And the very thought that the thing that you want to happen, if it comes up negative in your head, you say, cancel. That's crazy. I know I can do it. Here, it's going to break 68 right now and top everyone that's in it. This is a beautiful call. <laughs> this is a beautiful call. Galahad got out. Zillow. Let me see. Zillow swoosh today too. Zillow just fell off a planet since the day that it did it here. I did talk about this a couple days ago. Didn't we talk about it? We did talk about it. I said, well, this really looks slower. And then I forgot about it. We forgot about it every day since. But remember, I did say it here. Or maybe I haven't said it here. I don't remember. Market's trying to hang on, but I don't know if it does today. And that's the, that's the situation. So I follow my rules today was very good with that. But if you are still an end top or you did the first trade or the second trade or you made up any trades in between, you're up and it's going. And it really never set up right, actually, to be honest with you, since the first trade that I did. Because the first one, the second one really wasn't the rule and it really never set up here in the 15 minute. Look at that. I mean, this is just straight selling down. And one of the reasons it's probably going to go to 67 and even beyond. And if the market does fall today and break and it's only 1030, there's a long way to four o'clock. If the market does fall, this will go to a ridiculous number, which I did say this morning. It's almost at that here now. Galahad, I'm not sure why you got out unless you had somewhere to go because this is just a red bar every second. I mean, it's fine that you got out, but you could have held it a little bit longer, I think. You could have barred by barred it since you, do, you were in this with a bad fill. Let's 
to the sun. Yeah, I love what a good. So who else is in this? Koala bear still in it? Anyone else? This will go to 67. Jackie, you had gotten out of it. Galahad got out of it. I didn't retake it. Is anyone still an NTAP? Anyone in the world? Rob probably did it somehow, squeezed his way in. No, I don't want you to be greedy. I don't want you to be greedy, but you don't have to kill a trade. There's a difference between being greedy and holding and just killing a trade that's still going. It just broke the low, so I think you could have held on to it a little bit since you since it broke the low, but when you got out, it's fine. Anyways, that was a good lecture today, people. I'm going to let everybody go. We'll see you tomorrow. I have no idea what we're going to get. Not a clue, but I will tell you this. I am running the room tomorrow, and I'm going to be on TV crazy early in the morning, but I don't want to miss tomorrow. It's probably going to be a good day. And so I'm running the room, but I'm not going to have any sleep, so I'm warning you. Just FYI. All right, sounds good. It's probably like 5 a.m., 5.20 or something. I don't know. I'll find out my time later. So the 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock show. I'm on. I'm on Fox tomorrow. All right, have a good day, everyone. I hope you learned something today. And definitely everybody should make money. The Fox Business, yeah. The FBN AM show, it's the business show. I'm sure I'll be talking about the market. <laughs> I'm sure the topic will be market, market, and more. All right, have a good day, everyone. Very good. I'll see you soon.